It's the morning of Tuesday the 17th of April 2018. A Southwest Boeing 737-700 climbs out of LaGuardia, bound for Dallas Love Field. On board Flight 1380 are 143 passengers and 5 crew. All is normal aboard the flight as the crew checks in with New York Center controllers just after 11 o'clock. Center Southwest. 1380, flight level 300 for 380. Several minutes later, the controller hears background static from the flight deck of flight 1380 and attempts to raise them. Southwest 1380 has an engine fire descending. Southwest 1380, uh, are you you're descending right now? Yes, sir. We're single engine descending. Have a fire number one. All right, Southwest 1380. Uh, okay, where would you like to go to? What airport? Give us a vector for your closest. Um. Okay. Philadelphia. We're flying two five zero. Okay, heading 250, we're looking at uh, Philly, but that's... Uh, that's a 1380, roger. Uh, stand by. That's a 1380 to the uh, Philadelphia airport, direct. Direct Philadelphia, direct. Southwest, fortunately. Southwest 1380, do you have traffic just below you? Say again for Southwest 1380. Southwest 1380, go ahead. Southwest 1380, uh, understand. So there's a, there's your single engine for the fire? Actually, we're no fire now, but we are single engine. Okay, you are single engine now. Okay. So, uh, I guess it's, uh, can you maintain 1111,000? Yes, sir. Okay, so 1380, you're going to maintain 1111,000. Okay, down to 11,000. Chapter 1380, just so I can understand, you said that you are still single engine and uh, what else? Okay, Southwest 1380, we're single engine. That's it. Okay, single engine. Space A1111000, you getting by on the Yes, if you would, have him roll the trucks, it's on the, the engine number one, Captain side. Okay, thank you. Southwest 1380, contact New York Center 135.45. 3545, today. The left engine has suffered an uncontained failure. Debris from the failure impacted and damaged the engine inlet cowling, leading edge of the left hand wing, and the window of row 14. This caused a decompression of the cabin, prompting the crew and passengers to don their oxygen masks. Now flying a damaged aircraft on one engine, the crew make their way towards Philadelphia and perform an emergency descent. America 17671, I need you to just turn left there at Sierra 2, then a right turn on the runway, right turn at uh, Uniform, and then a right turn back on Sierra. Okay, uh, we'll taxi down the runway, take a right at Uniform, and a right on Sierra for American uh, 1767. Yeah, we just have a stop on northbound departures right now. So I'm just going to try to get you out of the way so I can get southbounders out. Currently going, we're going south. Uh, it's the northbound six, though. Okay. What six is stop? Uh, Stowen, Pottstown, and Medina's are stopped right now. Do you know it's going to be a while for uh, 4662? Uh, there's an emergency inbound right now on the uh, north of Purchase airspace. He's just got the uh, traffic stopped while he works him. and shouldn't be more than, like, five more minutes. Thanks. Airport 10, Tower. Sierra 1, Sierra 1, Sierra 2, Sierra 2, left on Sierra 2. Can you let me know what the next one asks? Uh, sure, I'll let you know when he's, the, uh, when he's on a five mile file. Foxtrot 21, Tower. Foxtrot 
Foxtrot 21, uh, ETA probably about six, seven minutes. Stand by. The number one engine failure. And it's a Boeing 737, 149 souls on board and 21,000 pounds of fuel. As the aircraft approaches the airport, the crew requests an extended final approach due to concerns about aircraft controllability at lower speeds. With this in mind, the captain decides to land with flaps 5 at a higher than normal speed of 165 knots indicated airspeed. So it's kind of southwest, so 1380, landing on the 27 right. Southwest 1380, you want to land 27 right? 27 left, I'm sorry, 27 left. Southwest 1380, runway 27 left, clear to land, wind 280 at 19, that's 25. 27 left to land, uh, southwest 1380. Airport 10, there is a uh, hole in the side of the aircraft also. Stop, there's a hole inside the aircraft. And Airport 10 is a short final. Is he the next one to uh, arrive? Yes, he is the next one to arrive on a uh, about two mile final there. The aircraft lands on runway 27 left as emergency crews watch on, ready to intercept the aircraft and assist those injured on board. Airport 10, proceed on 27 left. Southwest 1380, right turn when you're able, you want to stop wherever you need to assign. Thank you, we're going to stop right here by the uh, fire truck. Thanks guys for the help. Do you have a frequency for our fire chief? Southwest 1380, if you go over the 135.1, they'll be there. 135.1. So we can start Foxtrot 21. Foxtrot 21 there. Um, I need to talk to the pilot. Foxtrot 21, go to tower 11. Uh, correction, he's coming over to my frequency now. Uh, this is Foxtrot 772. Foxtrot 21, that's Captain there, go ahead. Yes, sir, I believe Captain's side is where we had the damage, and that's the engine that went out. Uh, yeah, we're going to damage down and check for heat stores. Uh, is there any injuries inside the aircraft itself? And also, we have no signs of any smoke or fire from the outside right now. Okay, we do have injured inside, so as soon as uh, we can get those taken care of, that'd be great. Alright, we're, we're going to get you back to the gate, but first we want to make sure we have no signs of smoke or heat. Alright, we're, we're putting our flaps down just in case, because we did have some smoke initially up here. Foxtrot 21, off command to Pilot 737, southwest. Philly Tower, Foxtrot 21. Foxtrot 21, there. Can we talk to the pilot again? Go ahead for southwest uh, 1380. Course 1380 is up on 351. Foxtrot 21, that's the pilot there, go ahead. How many injuries do you have on the aircraft? We're trying to uh, we're trying to figure it out right now. Stand by. Is everybody on that ground pretty good too? We have a situation going on in the airplane that just landed here. Um, we're just uh, holding everybody here. We're figuring out what's going on, see what we're doing with the airport. But uh, didn't forget about you guys here. Just everybody stand by. I'll try and keep you updated. Bye. Uh, so we're going to have buses come over for you. And we're going to deploy the, uh, and have some paramedics come on and take a look at the patient. Pilot, uh, copy that information. Say again for the pilot. Your truck coming over, and we're going to board the plane and take a look at the passenger. Uh, we're going to have a come over with the plane. Okay, uh, board on the, uh, board for entry door, left hand side. Are we able to board on the R1? We can if you need that, yes. You gonna bring air stairs up, fire chief? Everybody waiting to the part two seven left, we have an emergency in progress. It's gonna be about ten fifteen minutes that up. And this is uh, thirteen eighty. We need EMS on board. Is there a way to get them up here? 
Fox 21, did you copy that? Fox 21. Yeah, they want to know if they can get EMS on board the aircraft, sir. We're in the process of bringing EMS on. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody that's on my frequency right now, um, looks like guys can expect 2-7 right for departure. 2-7, we're also going to be closed for a bit, so expect 2-7 right for departure. Start plugging in the numbers for that. Uh, everybody that's waiting at 2-7 left is going to go out first, so I'm just going to hold you guys there until they all start making their way out there. All right, attention all aircraft, this frequency plan on uh, departing 2-7 right, stand by. All right, at this regard, all aircraft can go ahead and start shutting down. All right, everybody on this frequency, um, looks like we're scrapping the plan to go to the right. So just uh, anybody on ground frequency, if you want to shut down engines, help us conserve fuel. It sounds like it's going to be a little bit here. Um, just um, I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can, but if anybody wants to shut down to conserve fuel, it's fine with me. Passengers reported that a woman was almost sucked out of the aircraft when her window was damaged by flying debris, but was pulled back inside the cabin by fellow passengers. Jennifer Reardon, a Wells Fargo Bank vice president from Albuquerque, New Mexico, was critically injured in the incident and died in hospital later that day. Seven other passengers were treated at the scene for minor injuries. The FAA and NTSB dispatched a GO team to Philadelphia to investigate the incident immediately. The NTSB's preliminary investigation revealed that an engine fan blade had failed and there was evidence of metal fatigue but the blade broke off. So the fan blade, uh, it separated in two places. Uh, it separated at the, at, the, at the hub. So as I mentioned last night, we've got a hub and then 24 fan blades are going into this hub. So there's a fatigue fracture where this number 13 fan blade would come into, into that hub. So that we do have evidence of the fatigue fracture. It also fractured, let's say a fan blade is, um, let's say it's about that long. It also fractured roughly, roughly halfway through it. But it appears that the fatigue fra fr fracture was the initiating event, which later caused that, that secondary uh, failure. Captain Tammy Jo Schultz and First Officer Darren Ellisor were commended for their handling of the emergency, with the United States Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chow reacting by issuing a statement to commend the pilots who safely landed the aircraft and the crew and fellow passengers who provided support and care for the injured, preventing what could have been far worse. The full investigation is expected to take between 12 and 15 months.